What's up everyone? I had an idea today that I figured would be good for me to help me every day and figured I might as well share it with the world and maybe it helps other people as well. And that is to come up with some thought of the day that will help me get in a better place um, and maybe come back, bring myself back to reality on importance of life in just the day-to-day -day activities. And really what that means is not get so worked up about little things and not judge as much. Um, I know we're all guilty of that. And I figured if I put one thought of the day out on video for me to watch for myself and replay it later, and I guess I can just put it up on all my social media stuff too. And um, if it helps other people, that's even better. But this is this is for me, is kind of a project to get started. And I'm gonna call it thought of the day, literally and uh, see where it goes um, and hopefully it uh, gets me in a better place as I try and move forward with uh, the way I'm trying to push my energy and, and my businesses kind of all twined into one and see uh, what comes of it. It's just an experiment and I think I know it'll help actually and that's why I want to try doing it. So my thought of the day today as I walk back into my office, um, last night we got a text from the school district uh, at about, I don't know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock, stating that there's, the school district will be on a two-hour delay this morning uh, because of weather. And I got irritated this morning because this is the second day in a week that we've been on a two-hour delay for the school uh, for my kids. And it was irritating because it's like we have seven inches of snow outside. And I know that's a lot for some people. Here in Colorado, that's really nothing. Uh, we have a great infrastructure in place all over the cities um, across Colorado to um, remove snow from the roads very efficiently. And um, combine that with the sun that comes out after storms, I'll be this is a couple day storm kind of lingering and the temperatures are very cold. Um, there was really no reason to put any on delay. And when they do a delay, it's for the safety of the kids getting to school and the parents getting the kids to school, the bus drivers, etc. And to justify a seven inch storm as not being able to start on time was irritating to me at first. Um, but after I dropped my kids off at school two hours later this morning, came back and kind of got my day going, I realized um, there was no reason for me to get that worked up about what the school district's decision was regarding this morning's start or, or Monday's start as well. And I realized that what I got was something good and not something that someone gave to me that was a bad thing. So I'm trying to put my energy out there to kind of just continually create um, a positive bubble, as we'll call it, around myself, my family, my friends, and anyone that I really come into contact with. And I really have to get better at this for me. But I'm saying this because I think people need to get better about it for themselves as well. I think our society right now is really struggling with this problem. And I think it's something we all need to kind of just look in the mirror and say, you know, is it a big deal? I mean, I tell my kids all the time, it's not a big deal, it's a little deal. Let it go, right? And I can't preach that to them if I'm not practicing it myself. So this morning... As I sat back down and kind of thought about stuff for a minute, I kind of reveled in, in my, my irritation. And hold on, go away, see? Don't need to answer that right now. Um, reveled in my, in, in my thoughts, in my frustration, and realized I just got two extra hours to spend with my kids today that I would have not otherwise had if they weren't on a, on a school delay. So we started slower, I let my daughter sleep in, which she loves to do. I mean, she's nine and she's the probably the best sleeper of all of us in the house. And we got moving slower. I got a good breakfast for them. We weren't rushed. They got to go outside and play in the snow and sled in the front yard. Um, and you know, we had a, a nice slow morning. I'll, I was answering some phone calls here and there, but I was trying to focus on being with them. And I think that's the most important thing always. But recognizing I just received a gift for the day and that's the extra two hours I can spend with my kids that I would not have otherwise had and that is the most important thing in my opinion that you can get in life uh, my kids are the 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 all for me they're they're more important than anything in my life anything in this world and I'll do anything for them 
Um, so when I'm given the gift of an extra two hours of just being with them, I need to take it and not be irritated with, for whatever reason, I, you know, this, this happened to be. Anyway, that's kind of my ramble on thought of the day. It's the first one. I figure I'm going to try and do one every day. Um, I'll even post it to my new YouTube channel because that kind of needs to get, get going here. I need to work on kind of pumping that through and these thoughts will be, hopefully directed, you know, it's going to be toward for me, but hopefully directed towards um, what I do as a career and that being real estate and, and construction, um, but also just life lessons that I need to learn or pay attention to. And hopefully that's going to help people that watch this. Um, so anyway, that's my first thought of the day. Uh, I'm going to put it up and hopefully that helps people kind of focus on something and look forward to doing one of these every day. So there we go. Experiment in progress. Thanks, guys.